Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you guys are safe and doing well. All right, let's get the tea for this collective reading today. So your person knows that you are the high priestess. They don't know what you know, but they know that you know the truth. That's why they fear coming forward. And that's why they are in hiding. This person is haunted by what they think you may know. And they're afraid that you know all their secrets. So we're going to pull some cards from our Revelations deck to see what the High Priestess know. Let's see what you know about your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminines. All right. So your first card says, I'm in love with you. So we already know that. Your Divine Masculine is definitely in love with you. He's been wanting to reach out. He's been wanting to return for a while, Divine Feminines. But he's scared because he doesn't know what secrets you may know about him. Your next card is legal issues. That's also been coming out a lot as well. Your divine masculine has gotten himself in some hot water. Your next card is toxic friends and family. So yeah, your divine masculine grew up in a very toxic household. Therefore, leading your divine masculines to have issues with the law. For some of you, your divine masculine could have been in and out of jail when he was younger. Hell, for some of you, it could be now. But his family was definitely toxic. And that's why he hangs out with low vibrational people. Your next card says emotionally unavailable. Well, the reason why your divine masculine is emotionally unavailable is because he's toxic. It's his way or the highway. And he's used to people being submissive to him. Your next card says jealous of your abundance. So your divine masculine was a secret hater. He has a very lack mentality. And he was jealous of your success and your abundance. But you already knew that. Your next card says, you were a secret, followed by karmic partner. So yeah, for some of you divine feminines, you were a secret. That's why you never met your divine masculine's friends or family, because he had a karmic in the mix. Your next card is mental illness. So for some of you, your divine masculine could be suffering from bipolar disorder, but there's something going on with his mental state. Your next card is drug addiction. You also already knew that, Divine Feminines. If you didn't know, I feel like you know now. You're starting to reflect on your Divine Masculine's behavior, his actions. And for some of you, his money wasn't adding up because he was spending money on drugs. Your next card says secret lifestyle. So for some of you, this secret lifestyle could have been your Divine Masculine being on the DL. It could be a multitude of things. It could be this drug addiction that you didn't know about. You also have, they are obsessed with you. I'm pretty sure you knew that as well, Divine Feminines, because you could feel your Divine Masculine's energy really strong. You're seeing your Divine Masculine's name. You're seeing the number sequences. For some of you, you're dreaming of your Divine Masculine. But you know, deep down in your spirit, you know that your Divine Masculine is obsessed with you. And he was hiding his true feelings because your first card says, I'm in love with you. Your Divine Masculine also feels like you're the one that got away as well. Your next card says, Alcoholic. So yeah, that could be a secret lifestyle as well. I feel like for some of you, if your divine masculine was an alcoholic, I mean, he drank around you, but he didn't make it seem like it was an issue. So now you have drug addiction on the board and now you have alcoholic. So he was definitely battling a lot of different shit, including this karmic partner. And your last card says, I was seeking attention and it blew up in my face. Yup. So he's going through karma right now. Whatever he was seeking, that shit was a disaster, okay? All right, let's get some tarot. Your divine masculine is secretly afraid of you, divine feminines, because he knows that you ain't no dummy. He knows that you can see right through his bullshit. And that's why he fears coming forward, because for some of you, you have been separated from your divine masculine for a very long time. And he knows that your ass been doing research. He knows that your spirit guides and angels have been talking to you. And the way he left you was fucked up. So now he doesn't even know how to come back from this. He doesn't know what to say. He doesn't know what to do. But he knows you know the truth. You have the page of wands. So he wants to reach out to you. But like I said, I feel like he's terrified. Yeah, he wants to apologize, King of Cups. But he also knows that you're in this King of Swords energy. You got your guards up, Divine Feminines, as you should. And he knows that you're going to be side-eyeing this apology. What did I tell you guys? The high priestess. Yeah, you're going to be side-eyeing this apology because you are the high priestess. You are always one step ahead of your divine masculine for some of you. Yeah, the two of cups. 
Now he realizes that this is a soulmate connection. He's gotten some kind of enlightenment, some kind of clarity. But like I've been saying, you are the motherfucking high priestess. Nothing gets by you. And you found out the truth. Yeah, with this Ten of Wands, whoever he went to, he's burdened by that situation. With this high priestess and the Two of Cups, this karmic partner that he was dealing with was trying to emulate you. He thought this Two of Cups was his true love. Because the high priestess is all about hiding secrets. She was a fucking chameleon. And there was definitely spell work used here against your divine masculine. This bitch got tarot readings on your divine masculine to see what his weaknesses were. That's why you had alcoholic and drug addiction that came out. Yeah, she played up on his addictions. And that's how she was able to get him because she knew he was weak. And she also knows that this was a soulmate connection that you guys had. And she definitely wedged her ass in between you and your divine masculine's connection. But that's how she was able to get your divine masculine through spell work. Yeah, but he wants to reconcile now with the sun. But he's getting his karma with this wheel of fortune. What the fuck goes around comes around. And that's why that card said I was seeking attention and it blew up in my face. Yup, ten of wands and the wheel of fortune. Right behind that you have the five of swords, yup. And I feel like with this wheel of fortune, what goes around comes around. How you get them is how you lose them. And if I masculine is tired of being in that situation with this karmic. So he's making his way out. And with this five of swords coming out, divine feminines, that's also telling me that he was unfaithful to the karmic. Yeah, there's nothing but drama going on behind the scenes. You have the five of wands. His true love is you, ace of cups, followed by the empress. Yeah, and this bitch knows it. He can't stop thinking about you. That card says they are obsessed with you. And she knows this. And that's what's leading to all this drama and fighting, Divine Feminines, because the Divine Masculine is in love with you. He's obsessed with you. Ace of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, with the Moon card, this bitch is doing some kind of moon magic. There's a lot of secrets between this karmic and your Divine Masculine. Clarify this moon. Yeah, he's missing you with the Four of Cups, and this bitch knows it. And she knows he wants to return to you with the Knight of Cups. And you're the motherfucking nine of pentacles, okay? You're a boss bitch. And she's jealous of you. But she ultimately knows that your divine masculine is wanting to return to you. And she's trying everything in her power to stop it. Yeah, but justice is being served on that ass, okay? Whatever she's doing with this moon and the high priestess, that shit has backfired, okay? She's getting this karma tenfold. I can't make it up. You have the five of cups. There's a lot of losses and endings going around this bitch, including losing the Divine Masculine, okay? Yeah, because you are his wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. Followed by the Four of Wands. This is a twin flame connection. Yeah, this bitch is getting judgment. So both of them are going through some kind of legal issues. If he was married to this karmic, there's a divorce in the making. There's also some health issue going on between both of them is what I'm seeing. Your next card is the Hierophant. So he could have possibly been married to this karmic. But with this Hierophant Divine Feminines and this Four of Wands, it's just telling me that this was a karmic lesson. It's also telling me that you have learned these lessons, Divine Feminines. You're in the hermit mode. You're doing some soul searching. You're loving yourself and you're moving the fuck on. Yeah, because the tower came down on their connection. Now he's realizing that you guys are the Six of Cups. He wants to return. But he feels like you have a couple of options here. King of Pentacles, King of Wands. He feels like you're in a brand new connection with the Ace of Pentacles. And that's why he's up in his head with the Eight of Swords coming forward. Because he feels like you're booed up. Yeah, he feels like you're moving on to Karma Waters with the Six of Swords. And his ass is going through hell with the Ten of Swords. All right, let's get some more information on these secrets. Because you're divine masculine don't know what you know, but he knows that you know the damn truth. Yeah, you have Twin Flame that came out again. He's starting to awaken to what this connection is. That's why you have the two of cups that came out. Yeah, you have baby mama that just came out. So that's telling me, Divine Feminines, that not only were you a secret, but your Divine Masculine has a secret baby mama for some of you. And I'm also getting a secret love child. Divine Connection came out. Wow. So this is crazy. You have Twin Flame and you have Divine Connection. This relationship is undeniable. That's why you feel so strongly towards your Divine Masculine. That's why the Hierophant came out. That's why the Empress came out. And that's why the Hermit came out. Because I feel like your Divine Masculine is in the Hermit mode. Thinking about you. 
thinking about this divine connection, knowing who you are, and also knowing that he fucked it up and knowing that he made one of the biggest mistakes of his life. Now he's manifesting you back here. Yeah, definitely reflecting. That's your next card. Reflecting on what he did. Wishing he could take it all back. But he tennis swords your ass. And that's irreparable for some of you. Because now he has a baby mama. Yeah, and that was the roadblock here. Now he's in despair about the situation. Because you showed him unconditional love. And now he's freaking out because he hasn't heard from you. You're in the six of swords energy. You're in your little rowboat. And now you're moving the fuck on. You haven't reached out. You haven't spoken to your divine masculine. And he's panicking, divine feminines. Yeah, he wanted this relationship to be short term in the beginning. And he ended up falling in love. Yeah, you have financial mess. He doesn't want you to know that he's having financial issues. For some of you, this could have been a work romance. And he was hiding that from you as well, divine feminines. The other secret is that your divine masculine could be sexually fluid. He goes both ways. Damn. And he's also scared that you're going to confront him about what you know. You have the confront card. And your last card is wasted. Yeah, he has addictions that he was hiding from you. All right, let's go to another deck and get some more information, you guys. The Twisted Oracle. That last deck was my Journey of Love 2. You can find these two decks on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. All right, what else is going on with the Divine Masculine and these secrets? What doesn't he want the Divine Feminines to know? Spinning the block. <laughs> So he's driving by, he's spying on you, Divine Feminines. And he is curious to know who you're with, what you're doing. So he is spinning the damn block. Yup, cope came out. So he's trying to cope through drinking, pills, and you just had the card that said wasted. So there's definitely addictions here. Drug addiction, your Divine Masculine could be an alcoholic. But I'm seeing popping pills, smoking weed. And for some of you, his ass could be a meth head or sniff cocaine. Yeah, DNA test came out followed by evidence. So with that baby mama card coming out earlier, you could have found some evidence out about this baby, about this pregnancy, about this other person. Okay? And if you don't know, and you haven't spoken to the right masculine in a long time, you have been getting a lot of readings that's coming out about this pregnancy and about a baby. So he's freaked out because he doesn't know if you know. Yeah, he's getting some kind of justice here. The justice card came out. He's going through a tower moment, y'all. You have reconciled. So he wants to reconcile with you. But he knows that you're closing this cycle. He's also feeling like shit. When you guys first got together, for some of you, it was friends with benefits. He didn't want any strings. You have no strings. Oh, yeah. Here we go. On the down low. Bisexual. Unsure of sexuality. In the closet. That's another damn secret that he was keeping from you. Yup. You also have Psycho, Crazy Ex. His ex won't let go of him. This karmic is obsessed with the Divine Masculine. But I feel like they be having threesomes. She knows that he's bisexual. That was a part of his secret lifestyle. You had that card that came out. And that's why you're going to be side-eyeing him. Like I said, you have side-eye. And you also have goodbye right behind that. Yeah, you're over this situation, Divine Feminines. You also have the health card that came out. There could be an STD. And you also have married. So for some of you, he was married to this karmic, like I stated earlier. And you also have sex addiction. What did I tell you guys? Love child came out. Yup. A secret baby, sex addiction, and married. Damn. He got too many damn skeletons in his damn closet, y'all. Too many damn skeletons. What the fuck? That's like playing Russian roulette. You put one damn bullet in the chamber and you keep clicking it. And you don't know which one's going to kill your ass. And that's why you walked away from the situation. This nigga playing with your life. Uh-uh. That's why you have his ass blocked for some of you. And he's calling you from spam calls and text. Wow. Yeah, that's why he was running away from the connection. He had too many demons. Yeah, fucking with Jezebels and shit. Having secret accounts. Doing spell work on you, Divine Feminines. Hiding his feelings for you. But this was all a karmic lesson. You learn these lessons, Divine Feminines, and you're moving the fuck on. Yeah, he's depressed. He's having a lot of regrets here. He had a lot of childhood wounds and trauma. That's why you had the card that said toxic friends and family in the beginning. Yeah, he's feeling ashamed of his actions. He had a lot of options. But everything is coming to light. You have true colors. 
He's seeing the karmic's true colors and you're seeing your divine masculine's true colors because you have divine feminine next. Yeah, he left you hanging. He ghosted you. Yeah, somebody trapped his ass with a baby and he's getting tarot readings on you. But he was two-faced like a motherfucker. He was jealous of you. He was a secret hater. He was talking behind your back. He was fake as fuck. And that's why he's going through this firestorm. He's getting karma, drama, endings, losses, and mental breakdown. And you had the mental illness card that came out. And there could have definitely been a workplace affair. Yup, so that's what's going on with the Divine Masculine and these fucking secrets. So let's take this to the extended reading, you guys. And we're going to do a part two. I'm going to go deeper on these secrets and see what else comes out. And I'm also going to clarify some of these revelations on the board, like these legal issues. What's going on with that? What's going on with the Divine Masculine's mental state? And we'll definitely take a look at this secret lifestyle. And you know what else I want to take a look at Divine Feminines? I want to take a look at your Divine Masculine's homosexuality. Because you have the sexually fluid card that came out. And you also have on the DL, which is on the down low. So I want to see, is he fucking his best friend? Is he just having random hookups, one night stands, secret accounts? We're going to take a look at all that. Because there's something definitely going on with this secret lifestyle. So if you guys would like to purchase the extended reading, it's for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you guys are free to check it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.